China has undergone tremendous transformation over the past 35 years from being the world's largest factory to being one of the largest investors and buyers of resources and technology. Chinese companies going global today are faced with a number of challenges. Chinese globalizer champions really work well across three what we've called polarities and find the right balance between the first one being between home country, China, and the host country, where the company globalizes, between global consistency and innovation, and between central control and local empowerment. Today it is not a question of either or. You do have to find the right balance between all three of these polarities. We aim to capture those challenges and find some solutions and best practices which we can share among the community. There are four sets of best practices uh, that we found. The first one around culture. So what is a set of behaviors that people display that are on the one hand rooted in a uniform set of values that are fairly applicable across the globe, but have enough relevance for the host country, for the people who operate in the various individual countries around the world. The second part being around governance. How do I control my company? How do I make a set of decisions globally enough, but with enough application uh, in the individual host countries? Then around processes, and particularly the processes for how do I create the right information so that again, so that I can understand uh, what's going on at a global basis and make the decisions where I have to make them, but make sure that the information is gathered in a way that is relevant to the local operations. Yeah? And then the last one being probably the most important one around talent, because ultimately a company is made up of the people who work there. How do I create the leadership teams both centrally, yeah, so that I have a truly global central leadership team, or at least with a global mindset, and then how do I have the leadership teams in the host countries such that they are really relevant and local and have enough understanding of the local operations, but there are enough people in there who also have a deep and long understanding of the entire company who can make the information flow not only formally but also informally. Through this project, we were able to identify some of the globalizing champions and highlight what is it that they do differently in order to achieve overseas success. Secondly, we were able to develop a concrete toolkit that we hope other aspiring champions can use as they go abroad and increase their overseas presence.